So you're thinking about moving to Plymouth, Michigan. Well, today we are in such a killer location here in downtown Plymouth off Linden Street. We want to give you a walkthrough of the bungalow behind me. It's an absolute gorgeous layout, tons of updates throughout. And the thing about this property is the location. We're off Linden Street, which is only several blocks from the heart of downtown Plymouth. We're only two blocks away. So let's jump into this listing. We want to give you the tour. We're also going to take you through a tour of downtown Plymouth, show you around this side of downtown Plymouth, what the benefits are being able to walk just a couple blocks to everything that Plymouth has to offer for you. And we're going to do all of that starting right now. Okay, so we're gonna jump inside and give you a tour of the bungalow behind me. First off, shout out to Homecraft in my office here at Rich Realty. Uh, they, it's their listing, they gave us permission to go ahead and showcase this property. So thanks to Tim and Bobby for allowing us to do uh, this walkthrough, really excited. So we're gonna jump inside. This particular home was built in the 1920s, I think 1927-ish, so um, has a lot of really recent updates, actually been completely renovated from top to finish in the last couple of years. So we'll kind of give you the tour. You walk in, they opened up the floor plan quite a bit, obviously your main living area here. I love what they did with some of the updates around the fireplace, updating the brick as well too. Um, hardwood floors throughout, all have been re refinished. Um, and in this particular home, I meant to mention outside, but this particular home is priced in the mid 500, so 550 to be exact. So right in downtown Plymouth, about 1800 square feet, 550 price point. This one's a great option. They're gonna get tons of interest on it. So really open floor plan. Like I said, she recently renovated it. Um, couple features that I like in here is it's pretty much like pottery barned out. All the fixtures have been updated. Obviously new cabinetry. I love the hood vent as well too. Um, cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling, which is an awesome feature. Gives tons of storage in this size footprint. Uh, countertops are granite throughout, stainless steel appliances. Um, and again, lots of pottery barn and really, you know, nice finishes. It looks like a I, call, I always say when I walk through a listing like this, it's like a Pinterest commercial, right? You walk through, it's like made for Instagram. Doesn't really matter what picture you take. It's all Instagram worthy, right? So um, continuing on, there is a bathroom, full bath on this floor. I actually, this mic jumps in here with me. I really like some of the tile features that they use, the darker tile down here. And then this has a lot of texture as well too, which I enjoy. Um, darker vanity matches the granite um, in the kitchen as well too. So that's a nice feature. One bedroom, lots of natural light. Again, this is a 1920s home. So some of these smaller bungalows, you're not gonna get massive bedrooms. Actually throughout most of downtown Plymouth and most of these older downtown areas here in Southeast Michigan, you're not always going to get you know massive bedrooms by any means. They're about 1800 square feet here. So bedrooms can be a little bit tight, but it's city living. The whole point is to be able to walk to stuff. I'll show you the backyard as well too. Hardwood throughout, hardwood floors up here as well too. Um, some storage over here. This is bedroom number one, which is a good size bedroom, good size closet as well. You know, really cool little nook over here too. Again, how they've renovated these through the years is always fun, okay? It's very cool how people are able to be creative, keep some of the old features, the old, you know, um, the old workings of the house, but also being able to, you know, modernize it and make it more user-friendly user for today's world. This is the biggest bedroom in the house. Um, you can consider it the primary good size bedroom. I think it's the king bed. Cut out over here as well too. Moving on, second full bath. So, can't be too terribly tall. So if you basketball players, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm about a five, six on a good day. So a um, little bit tight in here as far as the, 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 the height and the ceiling. But again, some of the really cool old fe features will jump in the backyard as well too. The one thing I like about this house is there's tons of natural light throughout. So it's very homey and welcoming. I really do enjoy that. And again, everything's a Pinterest commercial. Follow your heart. Okay, so uh, the basement is also finished, recently renovated. They have a life-proof flooring down here. It's a laminate flooring, like what they did with the railing. Um, you know, good, good layout for, again, a 1920s build. Um, nice modern touches to it. Um, I actually really, really like some of the finishes they put in the bathroom down here. So full bath, um, I really like the vanity and the look. Um, again, all pottery barn as well too. This tile, uh, if you can get in there close, Mike, is very interesting. I have not seen that before. I like the texture to it. I like the flooring. I really like what they did down here. So this would be your third full bathroom in this home. Um, and another bedroom as well too. Uh, legal bedroom, closet. They have the egress window to get outside as well. So full closet as well. So really nice features. Um, they did a good job 
finishing this as well too. So solid core doors, stuff like that that you can't always see on video. At a 550 price point, this really has all the bells and whistles. Again, being in downtown Plymouth, that bungalow feel, built in the 1920s, completely renovated throughout. Um, so you're really at four bedrooms, three full bathrooms in this house. Uh, one on the first floor, two on the second floor, and one in the basement with three full bathrooms throughout. So although 1,800 square feet, they really figured out a way to get the most bang for your buck from a beds and baths perspective, and really two separate large living spaces between the upstairs open floor plan and downstairs as well too. So coming up next, let's check out the backyard real quick, and then we're gonna take you to downtown Plymouth show you around downtown Plymouth, all the bells and whistles, restaurants, bars, all the shopping. So in downtown Plymouth, there's a variety of homes. This one is a renovated old 1920s bungalow, which has a lot of unique features like we showed you throughout. We're gonna take you through the backyard, but I also wanted to mention throughout downtown Plymouth, there's a variety of different homes, lots of new construction like the one next door, lots of teardowns, lots of different renovations. So you get a flavor and variety of homes. And again, the real point of living here is true small city living, meaning you have a bunch of stuff that the downtown area has to offer. So it's not about big backyards and you know all this land and acreage and stuff like that. It's much more about being able to walk the dog or the kids or whatever right up the street, be able to go into town, check out the shopping, check out the restaurants, go to coffee shops, all that great stuff. And you have that. So the thing I love about this home is for a lot of people living in downtown, they want it maintenance free and you definitely have that. So walking into back into the back here, um, detached two car garage, which is obviously a nice feature. And then the backyard is completely fenced in. Um, now the thing that I like about it is how maintenance free it is. The way that they set this up for themselves is to keep it maintenance free. So you have pavers throughout, little deck as well here, nice pergola. Um, they've obviously done some nice uh, uh, trees with the, and bushes with the landscaping um, with the Aphrodite's and stuff like that um, to give that privacy feel. So it's very private back here. You have the hot tub obviously, but again, this is true downtown Plymouth living. This is maintenance free. You're walking distance to stuff, not a big yard to take care of. Nice house, beautiful condition perfect for entertaining, perfect for hanging out. So on the way out, we're gonna show you the neighborhood. We'll drive around and show you what it looks like to pass through the neighborhood so you can see the different flavors of homes, the different types of construction, and what it's like to actually live in this part of town. So not only do we wanna show you the house itself, but we can show you externally and the different uh, um, homes throughout the subdivision as well here. Tons of beautiful new construction. We work very heavily with a lot of the builders here in downtown Plymouth. There's some really high-end stuff as well too. So custom construction is a great option for people. We just finished a project a couple streets over on Hartsall. It's a beautiful home, new construction. We did as a teardown um, on a big lot. So there's some of those options as well too. So you have flavors. You have you know older homes that have been renovated with some really nice unique features like this one. And then you have a flavor um, of a lot of new construction as well too. So we'll take you through the subdivision. We'll jump into downtown Plymouth so you can see what that looks like coming up next. Uh, so we're one house over. Uh, we're off Linden. This is Harvey Street. So Harvey is a great pass through street. We'll get some B-roll of this, but the location, the reason why I wanted to showcase this listing so bad is because we're literally one and a half blocks away from like Burger Spot, um, there's Maya's Deli, there's um, the Detroit Barber Co, there's Barrio, EG Nicks, all that stuff. And one street over from there is Ann Arbor Trail and Main Street, which I'll show you in a minute. So that's right in downtown Plymouth. So like, locationally, it can't get any better than this, which is why there's so much new construction, so many teardowns, a lot of people. It's a very, very sought out area here in downtown Plymouth. It's a gorgeous location. This is one of the most happening hot spots in town here. There's a couple other pockets that are similar to this, but when you're a couple blocks from Kellogg Park and everything that that has to offer, which will show you in a minute. There's a reason why people want to be here. There's a reason why people want to be so close to everything. So this listing is such a great location. We'll take you a tour through the subdivision, but this corner in Harvey Street is always a great uh, a great street to keep an eye on and all the sub streets from it that kind of run into it uh, throughout Harvey because it's such a great location. Okay guys, so we are in the heart of downtown Plymouth, only like I said, two blocks away from the listing we were just at. This is really what you're paying for in Plymouth. This is what it's all about. It's true downtown, small town living, okay? We're actually right, uh, right off Main Street here. Main Street, Ann Arbor Trail, the street behind me is kind of the main cross streets. 
Peniman is the other side of Mike as well too. If Mike's wants to shoot to the left, you have Kellogg Park across the street. This is where it's happening. So as you can see, a lot of people are walking around. There's a fountain over there. We can get that in a minute to show you what that's like. But you can walk to all the stuff, walk the dog. The kids can walk, uh, walk around. There's a Killwinds on the corner. That's ice cream and sweets and fudge and all that stuff. Um, Dairy King is right down the street as well too. Great ice cream spot. Been here my entire life. I actually went to school with the owners, uh, kids of that family. Um, Campari is a good spot. One of my favorite spots is Sardine Room. I actually did another video on that as well too, talking about the best brunch spot here in Southeast Michigan. Sardine Room is fantastic. Uh, uh, Gastro Pubs right here. Um, Snow and Sun is a cool spot up the street too. They've been here for forever. So there's a lot of different things happening here in downtown Plymouth. We'll get some more B-roll shots and kind of walk around and show you some more pieces too. Uh, one, one feature I cannot forget is the Penn Theater, which is a very, very old theater. I'm not sure on the date on it. I need to do some, a little bit of history lessons on that, but the Penn has been here my entire life. It's a really old school theater you can still see movies at. you know. Um, during the summer, Kellogg Park has a lot of events, so they do music in the park on Friday nights. Um, on Saturday mornings, there's a farmer's market that comes down here as well too. So there's just a lot of things happening here in downtown Plymouth, especially it's spring. A lot of people are out and about. This is the time of year. Um, ice Festival is here as well too. We've done a video on the Ice Festival, so you can go ahead and check that one out. It's already posted um, as well as Art in the Park. So they close down all of downtown Plymouth. They do art down here. And in the fall, they do the Fall Festival with rides and carnivals and all that great stuff. So downtown Plymouth, this is what it's about. We'll show you some more. So guys, I was just explaining Kellogg Park is happening. It's beautiful, right? People are hanging out, walking the dog, that type of stuff. This is the center of town here. This is where people want to be. So the whole city is uh, built around Kellogg Park itself. Like I said, there's lots of different festivals throughout the year. Uh, music, they set up a stage over here. They start in a couple weeks. Um, across the street, uh, Big Alora Pizza is a good spot. Arbor Brewing Company is a local brewery as well too. They open up the garage doors, which opens up to the park as well. So there's so many different restaurants and bars and different things that are constant throughout the year. Then again, like the different events throughout the year is are totally worthwhile experiences. One street over here is Peniman. You can shoot down that way. Some really you know happening local spots are like Sean O'Callaghan's, which is our Irish pub in town. Um, the uh, Post is another place in town. Great bar, uh, sports bar type feel. A lot of good times at night there as well too. Next to that is Westmore Market. I go in there for like hot lunch, but it's a really cool small town market you can walk to being in downtown Plymouth. And then one of my favorite spots I've been going to my entire life, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan, is the Coffee Bean. Best coffee in downtown Plymouth, at least one of my top favorites without a doubt. They've been there forever. It's an old school building, really cool people in there. Fantastic coffee. This time of year, you can sit outside and hang out on the porch and the patio, take, uh, take your coffee and just enjoy uh, everything that the city has to offer. Okay guys, like I was mentioning the Penn Theater behind me, this is like a, a staple of Plymouth. Like this shot right here is almost like what you think of when you think about downtown Plymouth. Uh, I did some Googling on the walk over here, built in 1941. So it's been here for let's see, uh, 80 years-ish, uh, give or take. So really cool place, single uh, picture theater. They still are operating. Um, there's been a lot of people in town that have continued to operate. It's a nonprofit at this point, so it's a cool piece. Um, they're doing some new construction condos as well uh, uh, here on the other side of town here in Kellogg Park. So the Penn Theater is a staple in town. We'll show you some stuff over on Penniman as well too. Okay, so too many different streets to count, too many things going on, but I wanted to show you a few different flavors and I cannot leave out all that downtown Plymouth has to offer without Penniman. So uh, you got the Penn Grill right here, the post over this way. Um, you have uh, Sean O'Callaghan's, which is the pub I was talking about a minute ago. Uh, and so there's a lot of stuff happening. You got my boy Ali right here. So it's actually uh, a friend of mine. <laughs> so crazy. I'm literally filming right now. What a... I was trying to actually <laughs> not get on camera, but so, how you doing? So nice this, this is one of the best mortgage lenders in the country right Thank here. Thank you so much. He's, he's, a, he's a professional, I feel. What's up, bud? I appreciate can I get, that. Can I get a pound Say it? Hi, Zeno. Zeno, what's up, man? You all right? Give him a pound. Give him a pound. Good. We're out shooting. We're talking about downtown Plymouth. Uh, if I had to feature one thing in Plymouth, what should I mention? I love the pizza places that are in downtown Plymouth. Sure. Obviously with my son. I love uh, just the variety that you have with Pizza Vino's, Campari's, there's another one over there as well. Yeah, and, Nico. Uh, yep, Nico. And uh, it's a great just family spot to go out, have a, have a slice of pizza, and uh, just enjoy the time with the family.
Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, so shameless plug for the Talbot team, extended team, okay? So my cousin Colin Talbot, he works here at Family Legacy Wealth Partners, Raymond James, great financial advisor. I trust that guy with my life. So shameless plug, that's family, but he's really good at what he does. I trust him with my life. So if you're moving to town, you need a financial advisor, these guys rock it. All right, we couldn't help it. We stopped in for coffee at the Coffee Bean. So few tricks of the trade at the Coffee Bean in downtown Plymouth. In the fall time and sometimes in the winter, dirty chai slaps every time. The best fall drink, whoever says pumpkin lattes, liars. DTP, Coffee Bean, dirty chai. Remember, I said it and thank me later. This time of year, obviously we're going iced coffee, something iced, I'm starting to sweat. It's Michigan, we're not used to this type of heat. We've got pants on, got you something iced. Last but not least, all coffee shops, if you're not familiar with it, if you like a little bit of cream, but not too much, you like to taste the coffee still, I'm a big Cortado guy. If you don't know what a Cortado is, look it up. It's a shot of espresso, a little bit of cream and foam on top, nothing too crazy, not a full latte. So Cortado most of the time, iced coffee when it's hot, and definitely dirty chai at the coffee bean in fall and winter. You can thank me later. Okay, so I never like to be too loud in here because it kind of echoes a little bit. It's like this old house, but... Um, uh, Denise Cassidy Wood, like this is a local artist. She does these really cool flower paintings. They're like 3D looking. That's a local feature, local Plymouth thing, so they're being featured right now. But anyway, it's a cool spot. Okay, so we're full circle. We're only a couple blocks from the initial listing that we walked through. This is what downtown Plymouth is about. We want to show you Kellogg Park. We had to show you Peniman, some of the different bars and restaurants. Again, shout out to the Coffee Bean and their awesome iced coffee. Um, we're on Forest Street now. Across the street is Barrio. Little Bangkok Cuisine. Barrio is a really great spot. They do pictures of margaritas, really good tacos, great Mexican joint in town. But there's a ton of stuff throughout here. EJ Nix is right here. They're redoing that currently. I'm excited to see the turnout there. There's a ton of stuff down the street. Pizza Spot and Burger Spot are two of my favorites. Okay, the Burger Spot, like I was saying, Burger Spot, order online, burgerspotplymouth.com. Fresh Angus burgers, french fries, onion rings, Guernsey's shakes and scoops. So we're gonna make a video on Guernsey's. We haven't done that yet, but Guernsey's a local ice cream spot. It's actually in Northville, one city over. Absolutely fantastic ice cream. The best around if you're from the area. Outdoor seating, the burger spot. I love these guys. Always good vibes, always a good burger, always a good spot. Remember the burger spot when you're in Plymouth. We wanted to end where we started. We're on Forest Street, only a couple blocks from our initial listing walkthrough here. This is a great sample set of what DTP, downtown Plymouth has to offer here in Michigan. Please hit subscribe or tap for notifications if this video showed up in any interest to you or if you'd like future videos like this. Also, shoot us a comment. Let us know what we need to improve on. Let us know if there's any other areas or locations that you'd like video and content made here in Southeast Michigan. Again, my name is Matt Talbot. We help people just like you every single day move here to Michigan and we absolutely live for it.